Hey guys, it's Anna, and welcome to my channel. Listen up. I have been gatekeeping low-key some <laughs> really amazing fragrances. Not intentionally, of course, obviously. Like, my whole ch channel is about giving you the best of the best. But some of these fragrances just haven't fit into specific video topics that I've been doing lately. So I'm dedicating this video to them so I can feature them. Some of these I feel like I've had forever. <laughs> I just haven't had a chance to talk about them yet. So let's let's do that. Let us begin with one from Maisa, and this was kindly sent to me. They actually sent me all of the Discovery sets they carry at the Fifth Scent UK. So sweet. This ended up being my favorite that they have on the Fifth Scent UK website. I still have others from the brand to discover. They carry the majority of the Maisa fragrances on the Fifth Scent UK, but not all of them. So I still have some to go through. And if I love any, then I will buy them myself directly from their like official brand website. Now this might come across as shocking to some of you because I know we have some like diehard fans over this fragrance, but I'm actually not the biggest fan of Tom Ford Tobacco Vini. I think it smells nice, but to me it just translates to smelling like a chai vanilla cookie and there's something about the scent that just bothers me. Anyway, what I'm getting at is that Tobacco Elixir definitely has a resemblance to Tobacco Vini, but I honestly prefer this so much more. I really prefer the blend of notes in here. It just comes across smoother and like there's just, just a little bit more going on. And it just smells yummy. Like this is literally fall. I picture bundling up in a cute, warm scarf, turtleneck, you're wearing boots, drinking a hot vanilla chai tea latte with cinnamon sprinkled on top. And then it's supported by amber, elemi, candy ginger, tobacco, cloves. So like a lot of those notes are really screaming the festive holiday vibe. And then it has a very nice balmy feel to the fragrance that just seems to smooth everything out. If you like if Tobacco Vini, you will like this. If Tobacco Vini is out of your price range, here you go. Or maybe Tobacco Vini, like me, didn't quite hit the spot for you, but you want something in that family, get this. It's cozy, but also giving dressed up during the holidays. Sophistication, fall tones, totally unisex. Um, Eric came to visit me at work the other day and he layered this with Parfum de Marley Herod and I was like, what is that? What are you wearing? You smell incredible. Are you wearing something new? Are you wearing a combo or something? And he told me he layered the two and I was like, genius. My man is a genius. Like he smelled sophisticated, but also I'm like, I wanna bury myself in your chest right now. Also, now is the time to get your shopping done at Maisa because they have an up to 50% off sale on the Fifth Cent UK on the website right now. So if you already know that you love something from the brand, get it now. They have discovery sets, they even have body sprays. So that's a good way to test out a scent as well if you didn't want to you know, purchase a discovery set and you wanted to try one thing in particular. It's a very approachable version of you know, these edgier winter fall notes. Uh, next up, I'm gonna talk about the one that I am most excited <laughs> to discuss. It's the one where I was truly just floored when my nose happened upon this scent. And I tried this right when it was released. And even though it's been released this year, I feel like it's been on my wish list forever because I've just been drooling over it. And it's finally in my collection and I wanted to give a shout out to Scented Enigma on Instagram because he is the reason I was introduced to this line. He was one of the very first people to talk about the Serpent line from Stefan Umbert Lucas and his photography is in incredible. Like if you want to bless your feet, bless your eyes, and you just want to see beautiful pictures of <laughs> fragrances, 
follow him. He has very refined taste, he's extremely talented and very kind. God of fire and holy shit is this good. It is so unbelievably good that I decluttered all the rest of my mango fragrances. Like I smelled this and I'm like never again am I gonna wear, want to wear any other mango fragrance. I, like, this is it. So I decluttered Par la de Parfum, Chypre Mojo 45, I think it's called, Nila Vermeer Bombay Bling, like, bye. Bye. I know, they're great fragrances. But once <laughs> this entered my reality, I'm like, I have no need. I have no need for them, just like, forget about it. There was no competition. This is one of the most special special unique fragrances I have ever smelled. Holy cow, this is so exotic. Like talk about niche perfumery, like this is art. This is a masterpiece, like a piece of art, truly, from the freaking bottle, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? To the juice, everything, it's a whole experience. It's so freaking unique and wow, does it have character. It has this fizzy, like zesty quality to it, which is so addictive. You get this zing and spiciness from the ginger, a tart and juicy quality, like, oh, my mouth is watering when I smell this, from the lemon and red berries. And then you get this mango scent where it's just this like perfectly ripe, juicy mango. So often mango perfumes, they either smell overripe, like they're kind of starting to go bad or it smells more like a green mango. And this is just <sighs> mango done right, mango done right. It has a woody, musky base. We have some cypriol in it, truly never been done before. And the sweetness that's in here, <sighs> captivating, absolutely captivating. And this fragrance is strong. I wonder if this is, oh no. I was, I was gonna guess that it was an extra de parfum, but it's an eau de parfum. It's strong. This is gonna last you a long time. What comes to mind when I smell this is the most breathtakingly exotic, stunning Amazonian woman. Just unreal, goddess level. This has gotta be my number one favorite tropical fruity fragrance I've ever smelled in my life. It's fantastic. Um, I'm gonna talk about a couple more citrusy fragrances. I'm completely out of season with these, but you know what? They were on my wish list and I saw them on sale, so I snatched them up and I'm so excited about it. I've still been wearing them. I told you guys I was gonna get this and I am over the moon to have this. Like, I'm frightened that I'm gonna burn through this, but this is Dead Cool Red Dakota and Oh my word, does this smell cool. I never thought you could have a cool smelling citrus perfume. They nailed it, they nailed this. If you are into your citrus fragrances but you want to be giving off that like cool girl aesthetic, well honestly, this is unisex. So cool guy, cool girl, what have you, this is it. So addictive too, it's so interesting. I've never smelled anything like this at first and predominantly you're going to be getting this blast of an orange peel, the rind of the orange. So it's giving you this bite, that zest. And it has this slight darkness to it almost, like we have a woody note in here and amber, and then we have a very slight creaminess that comes from the gardenia. I will say like, if you're looking at that Gardena note and you're like, no ma'am, no, I'm with you. I understand, I actually hate the note of Gardenia as one of my most despised notes. But surprisingly, this does not smell mature whatsoever. Like it just works. It smells cool, it smells trendy, it smells put together, it smells unique. I go about life by my own pace, do my own thing, follow my heart, don't care what other people think about me. But you know they think you're cool and you're bold. And then as it dries down, that's the best part, you get this touch of these like sugared, juicy, wild berries. And I am salivating 
smelling this now, thinking about it right now. Oh my word. And I told you guys in a past video that like the most killer layering combination is this with Bath and Body Works whipped berry meringue because this amplifies that sugary berry quality. We have notes of fresh berries, whipped sugar, and fluffy vanilla. And what I tell you is a dream must have, must have combo. So I would happily wear this on its own, but now that I've discovered this combo, like I just can't go back. Like why would I? wear it on its own when I know that this smell exists, you know? I wore this the other day and I got a compliment from my male coworker and he was like, what are you wearing today? Because whatever it is, it smells really good. It's very edgy, punchy, and not your basic citrus fragrance whatsoever. So with that, I'm gonna transition into another citrus fragrance. And this, I literally just ordered the full bottle, <laughs> is Fleur Tangerine Boy. And I'm extremely picky with my citruses. I find most of them boring or they smell like cleaner. They're, just, I don't know, they're just usually not my vibe. But I saw some spicy notes in here. Like I saw notes of amber and ginger and pepper. And I'm like, that could be for me. And because this was such a hit, and this is like your edgy clementine fragrance, I had hopes for this one. I love that scent of like a fresh burst of orange. But in order to wear as a perfume, like I need like a little bit of something. So when it comes to describing this scent, it's honestly quite simple. Like just scratch the notes, don't really pay attention to that. What this smells like is tangerine, lemon, and ginger. Okay, I could lie to you and I could say that I <laughs> pick up the other notes listed. No, not really, no. Definitely very, very quiet, supporting, just like making it the overall experience that it is. But those are the three notes that I'm like, I can pick that up. So you get this blast of obviously tangerine and it's like a tart and juicy tangerine at the same time. And that of course is being supported by the addition of a lemon, adding on to this kind of like tangy quality, like I can taste it in the back of my tongue. And then this added spice and zest and just touch of an edginess from the ginger. This perfume is a simpler composition. It's not super edgy or complex or anything like that, but I also don't find it boring. It's energizing, zesty, and has just that light amount of spicy notes to make it interesting enough for me. Like I've tried a bunch of citrusy fragrances and the majority of them just fall flat. Like I, I will think they smell pleasant, but I'm like, I'm not called to wear it, but this just puts me in a good mood. It's fun and just refreshing for warm weather, and you are gonna have to overspray with this, but if you spray your clothes, that scent is going to last. And this scent just makes my California girl heart happy because California is known. <laughs> For their oranges. It's just enjoyable. This next one I featured a couple videos back when uh, bashing a very expensive fragrance in its packaging and I compared it to this saying that this is like $85 and stunning presentation and I had several of you be like you better be reviewing that soon. I have been asking for it. You guys know my dying obsession with Byredo's G Water. It's one of my all-time favorite scents. Oh my gosh, it's so stunning and chic. And this is said to be a dupe. So here's my two cents. Toka's Colette. This packaging is just stunning. $85 and this is heavy. Like you are getting a heavy, intricate, stunning presentation. It gives off very like vintage, romantic vibes. I just love it. And you know what? This is definitely, this is a good this is a good one. This is a good dupe to Byredo's G Water. I'd say 95. The only difference that I can detect is that Colette has a touch more of a fresh citrusy vibe to the fragrance, where this is just a little bit creamier and a little bit more on the vanilla. Otherwise, yeah, you're <laughs> essentially getting the same fragrance. This scent profile is truly the epitome of the clean girl chic 
perfume. The first fragrance that comes to mind when I think of that vibe. Oh my gosh, it is the most stunning, perfectly feminine, classic, timeless, chic blend of sandalwood and vanilla, citrus from the lemon and bergamot, and then this fresh air experience, like you're near a pine forest. A translucent, very likable, pretty amber. It's not heavy. We have a little bit of violet, a clean musk, some pink pepper to give it just a light amount of spiciness. Oh my gosh, when I smell this, I literally picture like the most naturally beautiful girl with, you know, like the mid part, slicked back, low bun, the gold hoop earrings, white button down, some sort of designer black handbag, drinking an overpriced cappuccino. She just smells flawless, flawless. And this DNA is one of my most complimented scents ever. And I purchased this because I'm, you know, about halfway through G Water and I'm very happy with this. Like, if alternatives to the scent didn't exist, like, you best believe I would be repurchasing this over and over and over and over. But because I have such a beautiful presentation and almost spot on dupe here, I'm good. Like, I'm, I'm really good. I'm good with this. While we're on the topic of chic, okay, this is another one that just fits that category so well. I am obsessed with iris vanillas and this is obviously the iconic christian louboutin luby rouge this is so pretty this is gonna be an understated perfume the scent inside this bottle does not match <laughs> the presentation like the presentation is like wha bam the scent inside is very delicate very pretty very dainty romantic it's more soft spoken so if you are into your bold powerhouse fragrances this is not going to be for you this is the most effortless blend of cardamom iris and vanilla and it's in that order that you experience it like first and center cardamom then iris then not an edible vanilla just to give it a subtle rounded out sweetness that the kind of sweetness that's like are you, are you wearing a perfume? Like, I want to bury my face and your skin. I want to cuddle, I want to get closer to you. It just smells like a naturally put together, stunning, beautiful woman. This is the kind of scent I picture Wendy Moira Darling wearing. This is what she smells like. It's comforting, pretty suits all occasions. This would be a stunning signature scent, but I do think this would struggle in the winter. The sillage sits very close to the skin. So, you know, even with overspraying, don't be expecting like a bunch of people to smell you unless they're, you know, in your scent bubble. It does last though. When I first wore this, it only lasted me like four hours, but after a couple of weeks of sitting macerating, it actually now lasts me eight hours, but the sillage is the same. Like it sits closer to the skin. So just be aware of that. And I find that it just gets better as it sits on the skin, warms up on you because then that vanilla will start to creep up a little bit more. Because at first you're just getting that blast of cardamom and iris. So it's giving this fresh, spicy, powdery kind of paper like accord but that addition of vanilla just rounds everything out and really makes it shine and this scent i think smells quite reminiscent to the kind of fragrances that celine comes out with so if you like something like celine's black tie you are going to love Luby Rouge. Next up, this fragrance has been on my wish list for a painfully long time it also took me a couple years to fully fall in love with the scent like when i first smelled it i was like oh this is fantastic like a 10 out of 10 but it didn't 100 percent feel like me so i kept revisiting it like i can't even tell you how many decants i've gone through but i have officially fallen in love with it and it's actually my 
second favorite from the brand and this is Fragrance Dubois Oud Jeune Intense and this is going to last me forever because I have to be in a particular mood to wear this scent and it is strong. This is like the epitome of a luxurious tropical floral scent. There's truly nothing that smells like it. It's wildly unique, incredibly refined. Like this smells like old money, like a classy, sophisticated woman going on vacation. She feels no need whatsoever to like flaunt the fact that she has a lot of money, but you can tell by the way she composes herself and her scent. You smell this and you're like, ma'am, what? Ma'am who? This is a creamy tropical fragrance and there are fruit notes listed in here, but it is blended so seamlessly that I could not tell you a single fruit note that was in here. Couldn't tell you. It does not scream fruit to me whatsoever. That's just supporting in my opinion. To me, it's really about the tropical florals. It is all about that tiari flower and ylang ylang and the tiari flower does not pull sunscreeny whatsoever and then i also pick up a touch of vanilla a non edible vanilla giving a natural sweetness honestly that's like the best i can do <laughs> in terms of describing this because it's so it's so well blended it's really something that you're just gonna have to experience for yourself it also definitely has this balmy texture. It just melds into your skin, giving you this like radiant goddess energy. <laughs> Next up, I have Chris at the Perfume Nest to thank for this. She sent me a decant of this fragrance. I never would have tried it without her, but boy oh boy does she know me. Like she knows me to a T. This is an Anna fragrance. <laughs> through and through, and that is Henry Rose Queens and Monsters. Listen, if you like my recommendation of Lise Bow, the Seven Virtues Santal Vani, I seriously think you are going to love this fragrance. It does not smell close to either of those two, but it's giving off the same vibe. Like the energy that those fragrances bring. You're getting that from here. If you like those kind of fragrances, I think you'll like this. And it's in the same general overarching family where you have the sandalwood vanilla with some fresh spiciness. This is delightful. A sandalwood balm that is so creamy. A smooth, non-gourmand vanilla, fresh spiciness, and then it has a coconut musk, cocoa musk which I definitely get. And that's the perfect word for it because this does not smell like coconut straight up, but there's this essence of that. So coconut musk, yes indeed. Perfectly unisex, great for year round. I get a very slight touch of the white florals in the background and that pedigree note is quite prevalent in here, giving it this fresh green touch to the fragrance. It gives it a very likable, earthy element. It smells put together, chic, individualistic. I can't even imagine someone not liking this scent. Like maybe it's not for you, but I can't understand someone just not liking how this smells. And if you wear this, it's going to smell personal. You're not gonna be smelling like anyone else. And I think it's seriously underrated. Like if you love those other two recommendations of mine, check this out. Lastly, I have two honorable mentions. The first one being Kaoli Musk 12. And this is eerily similar to one of my favorite fragrances ever, Clean Reserve Skin. And I wanted to get this because I wanted to do more of an in-depth comparison between the two because they do smell very similar and I wanted to be like, which one is my favorite? It's still Clean Reserve Skin. <sighs> Nothing beats it. It's so freaking pretty though. Like if Clean Reserve Skin didn't exist, you best believe I would be getting a big full bottle of this. This is a clean musk, soft, powdery, elegant vanilla, sandalwood, and some really well blended florals. Like you're not smelling this and it's just like florals. For an everyday fragrance that is chic, easy, likable, just pretty, this is a fantastic option. Unfortunately, this is not have good 
longevity so you're gonna have to overspray this but I think it's a good option for people who are maybe into healthcare or you're more sensitive to fragrance or you want something that's like a your skin but better scent now in comparison to clean reserve skin this is more powdery and floral the thing is clean reserve skin just has a bit more of that addictive factor from the salted praline and it has a vanilla orchid note in it as opposed to regular vanilla that's in here and I find vanilla orchid to be a very addictive version of vanilla so very slight differences you absolutely do not need both it would be redundant so I love both of the scents like I seriously think this is fantastic it's just that I do already own Clean Reserve Skin and ultimately I do prefer it. But yeah, I just wanted to give my two cents on that. And my last honorable mention is Carner Barcelona's D600. Okay, so this was sent to me. I picked this out because the notes include iris, vanilla, and cardamom. Oh boy, do I love that combo. Like, <laughs> clearly. And I have to say, out of all of the Carner Barcelona fragrances that I've smelled, D600 is by far my favorite. This is stunning. The reason why this is an honorable mention is that on my skin, it leans just a little bit too masculine that I feel like suits me. But I love and adore how this smells. So I gave it to Eric and I was like, wear this. He did and he's like, I love the scent, it's amazing but it feels just a little bit too feminine for me because of the iris in there. That's obviously adding a powdery experience and that was a bit more than he likes to wear for himself. So this is a unisex fragrance, but I feel like this is something you have to test. You have to sample and see how this interacts with your skin chemistry because it can interestingly perhaps lean a certain way on you or it's just gonna work magic and be perfect. So the main things that jump out at me in here are the woody notes. We have cedar and vetiver, the fresh spicy notes, pepper, cardamom, and iris. So a lot of that, and then a soft, again, non-edible vanilla, and it just pairs beautifully with the iris, giving it this bit of like a, a slight vanillic lipsticky vibe to the fragrance but then it has so much oomph to it from the fresh spiciness and the wood i think this is so sexy and so ah oh, interesting i wish eric connected with this more because i just think it's sexy to have that little bit of an intrigue of the iris and vanilla it's inviting and definitely has a sensual side to the scent but then also has power it's sophisticated refined it just really smells put together i think it's absolutely fantastic it just needs to find the right person to suit but once you make that match like i love it because there's almost this juxtaposition in the scent between the feminine and the masculine just a beautiful well thought out blend of notes in here so Highly recommend checking out, get a sample of Carner Barcelona's D600. So that wraps up my latest obsessions. You are now up to date on everything that I love <laughs> in my collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. If you wanna see me in any more videos, I'd appreciate it so, so much. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.